Okay, let's go. Screen bigger. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. Let's push through the center as we do. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going arty. He's going arty. <clears throat> I'm not really a fan of this move that they've just done. I'm into tempo and you know I think it kind of loses them a bit of tempo. But what does it give them? It's trying to manage these squares here, but again it's not it's not meaty meaty meaty, is it? I'm gonna bring Bishop out. not saying I'm finding the best moves but I've got to have a rationale for my own movements and the potential advantages the opponent can actually achieve from doing these things let's just develop the night out okay so they're moving a bit swift are they moving swift because they feel that they're kind of out of kilter do we just take this night off the board Need to get castle to really do it with. Um, choo -choo -choo, could put a check on, pushes the pawn down, bring the bishop back. Let's do that. Ooh, they're not. They're a. They're a fighter. They're a fighter. So we simply just take here. I don't think we mess about with that. Let's just take. So it looks like a healthier position that we've got. And taking pawn takes is on our knight. Our knight has to move. Could come here, but it's not. yeah. Then we're attacking the queen, I suppose. Uh, these knights on the pawn. I'm actually gonna go simple again. Just take. Oh, I forgot. I've got a castle. Oh dear, am I getting carried away with styling it out? Let's um, go here, like we said. Am I gonna rule the day? I need to get castled. Something doesn't feel right now. Take, 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 take. Do I lose something? Do I lose this pawn? Oh, as I said it, do I lose this pawn? Oh, I do, don't I? Damn it. That's not good. Do have a position here. I mean, yeah, that that would be nice. Because if the queen ends up here, if our knight's here, then we've got a fork on the king, the rook, and the queen. I think that's the only saving grace that we've got in this particular position. It's a little bit like the previous game where we saw that pattern and the opponent actually went for the pattern is this going to happen in this case I think it's more obvious that they're going to do that and then we've got this can't tell me they're going to see that it's 
It's a free night. Take it. Oh, they've seen it. Oh, well, we're going to have to bring the queen to support the knight. Okay. Oh, it does take straight away. Are we in trouble? It took straight away. Oh, do you know? Do you know? You know what I missed? Damn. The same fork. Although realistically, it don't really matter. I suppose it does because I would have got a pawn there. Oh, I'm gutted. I am gutted. <sighs> Damn, I hate missing stuff like that. But we can't go here because he just comes and attacks us and gets the pawn. So if we castle queen's side supporting the pawn. feels a little bit like I'm chasing my tail positionally now, which is not the done thing. Yeah, I think I got... What happened there in that? I'm going to have to look at the analysis. That was... <coughs> I think I lost the thread somewhere. Okay, let's just bring this back here. Let's just focus now on how we can again regroup and make... Oh, the bishop's doing a pawn job. Bishop's doing a pawn job. So a knight can actually just attack the bishop. I need to regroup. And see if I can get a better position than this. It looks kind of drawish, don't it? But we want to tr hopefully try and stay away from the draws. If... Oh! Uh, if I take, I think it's probably drawish, isn't it? the pawns blocking here but then he's got these two linked pawns uh, da, 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 da. coming down attacking the pawn it just drops again coming around here searching for another fork am I gonna get that fork off this time no probably not let's just go with this they saw them they saw the um, fork last time although they didn't see the second fork afterward did the so he's got these linked up here this does not feel good he's got elevate what what I don't know what that was what was that oh they've done some preemptive thing what why did they do a preemptive because this pawn is now <clears throat> getting taken and we're owning this file was it an accident they're going real quick maybe it's their lunch time or something oh dear I'm just sat here now looking at it I'm thinking well looks like we have regrouped and really there's the opponent now is going to be chasing their tail. Yeah, we do have options. They're moving a bit quick now. Which is um, spoiling their party, I think. We've got eight minutes. That's like a lifetime. Uh, we could come and attack the pawn. His rook takes, rook takes. We've got an advantage with the pawns there. I don't really see that being a problem. Let's just attack the pawn. So it's trying to save the pawn. Oh, excuse me. It's trying to save the pawn, but if his rook takes, then we can take this if we're here. Just keep it simple. Does he attack our pawn? I think we're just going simple. He does take, so that's an interesting situation because I 
it comes back to that position of we've got like these extra pawns here yeah I think they moved a bit quick just on that last bit and they're still moving quick but it's not a quick thing mm -hmm. got to savour these moments now practicing for the over the board I don't have to move fast I just need to try and find the better position I could push onto his palm just to get rid of it but then he pushes down then we can push this and then make our way and attack here let's just attack his pawn the element of them wanting to try and potentially get it promoted they're probably going to keep it on the board so if they did do that we have time to come here to attack it he has time to come here but then we have time to push this pawn supporting and this pawn will disappear Oh, it's gone defending the pawn. I don't know if that's um, a good situation for them. Because in essence we can push this pawn and start elevating. Pushing, pushing. His king's going to have to come into the game. Okay, keep it simple. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. come out of the little net okay so now we've got to be mindful because he can come and sit here but if we come here then it's just gonna put checks on us and then he might start getting them pawns puts a check move here puts another check move here Starts going for the pawns, we push up, goes for the next pawn, push up. I don't want to give him tempo, do I? Or we could push this pawn, but then it drops. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, I think I'm more interested in it. It's just that he's then got this pawn, he's going to attack this pawn. And then he's got his pawn that can go there. But if he attacks that pawn, oh, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I think we leave this. Maybe bring the king across. Time's running out. I'm on four minutes. <clears throat> I'm in blitz territory now. Yep, said he was coming with the checks and gonna mobilize. It's gonna run out of ideas, so I'm actually swinging up. We've kind of covered this picture in our mind already. So it's coming down to attack. So now we can just basically see if we can get our pawn elevated, win a bit of tempe, get the king moving, and now start shuffling. potentially coming here but that's the danger zone I mean he can take these pawns off the board probably not going to lose too much sleep over that because we can push our pawn up <coughs> these pawns have got a long way to go so let's push he does grab it's going greedy munching and like we said just push it seems simplified but the rook is not in a good position to actually put a check on our king and we can get a queen for the exchange of our rook by coming here if need be
and let's attack a pawn. I wonder if we did go do that thing. We've got three minutes, and I'm going to speed up in a minute, but just again, just to satisfy my curiosity. So be a queen against the rook, the queen will be protecting the pawn. Or do I have the rook and the queen as well? Okay, I'm going to have to move fast now. Let's go here. Right, no more talking now. Keep two pieces on, so at least then... Because having the queen against the rook, he should still win. But if we've got two pieces on the board, we can maybe start pressuring his king area with the rook and the queen. Okay, so he's going for it. So we're going to queen. We're actually on his rook now. He's probably going to put a check on our king. So I'm going to save haven. He's going to, I'm going to push the pawn down. He's not pushed the pawn down, so we can Let's bring the check here. Then bring the queen here with the check. Rook comes to defend and let's put a check here don't want to just be check check checking though because he does have three passes <laughs> so he does defend with the rook so I'm going to have to bring my rook into the game also with the potential threat of attacking this pawn so that I can face off his king so his king's going to have to move because obviously if we do go here then we're putting a bit more pressure on his area don't know if that's right or not yet so the king does move and let's take the pawn And they've resigned. Okay, right, so we were starting to put the pressure on. I think that was a better choice of actually not going for the single queen against the rook because it gives us a better power base on that side. So that was a interesting game. Um, I was going to have a look, I think, at... Was it this game, I think? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so working, bishop attacking, yeah, pretty straightforward there. Alright, okay, the option of taking. Okay, so. Yeah, I think I did something wrong, didn't I? So I brought the knight across thinking, yes, I'm going to get some magical fork thing, didn't I? There, so we brought it here thinking we're going to get this type of thing. But then they didn't do that. They took with their knight. Then we took with the queen. Then, and I think I moved too quick because we did have this here. So we would have grabbed a pawn. Maybe the king comes here. Yeah, so we would have been a pawn up. They wouldn't have had three pawns at that they did in the end game. But I suppose it's nothing too major, is it? What actually happened again? Grabbed, grabbed, fair. Yeah, it doesn't feel the same, does it? Because now there's knights stuck there. Can't go here. Now I'm in a supporting role. So I'm castling supporting the pawn bringing the knight back attacking the bishop which felt okay and take him but it's showing black is in a slightly better state which it did feel like it so I thought, I'm thinking I'm having to regroup here again and I think that's a good thing if I'm able to kind of sense that it's not going well and then I have to hope for the opponent not to be able to come out with the magical moves and this was where they moved too quick. They did. It was like a preemptive move. So I really don't know what it was preempting. 
because this pawn is under attack maybe they might just sort of accidentally dragged it and maybe they were going to be bringing the rook here but somehow it did, it kept the drag on the king because it's a very odd move it's not really I don't know what that was so I would say that was a mouse slip I'll give them a mouse slip on that one so then we, we regrouped obviously that gave us the regrouping these types of things happen over the board um, not mouse slipping but you know making moves that really kind of don't make sense so it's being able to spot that and then maybe take advantage of it so now we're grabbing up pawns really looking to still maintain our own safety with simple basic chess you know if they do this then this will I can do this simple basic chess and just grabbing okay so I think that part we're happy with all of that yep good stuff 